The Atlanta Falcons just beat the Denver Broncos and Carolina Panthers in the last two weeks. They're looking real good. Are they a legit contender? What's going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NFL here to talk about the Atlanta Falcons, who have been very, very impressive to start the year through the first quarter and a half of the NFL season. And they've got, they just beat the Denver Broncos, who were undefeated before, of course, the Falcons handed them this loss. And then they beat the Carolina Panthers the previous week. So two very impressive wins for the Atlanta Falcons, who are now leading their division, obviously. So I'm here to talk about if the Falcons are a legit contender. And when I say legit contender, I'm talking about if this team is obviously a contender for the Super Bowl, if they can go far in the playoffs, and if they should be counted on for all of that. My take of the Atlanta Falcons is this. Look, they're a top five offense. Okay, they're a very, very high part offense. Statistically, they're actually the best in the NFL right now. They have the most total yards in the NFL, and they average the most yards per game in the NFL. So in that sense, they are a high part offense. Matt Ryan uh, has been the best quarterback statistically this year. And that's against, like I said, some very tough, tough competition. So he's played very well. They have, of course, Julio Jones, who put up a monster 300-yard performance the previous week. So he's a top three uh, wide receiver. They have Mohamed Sanu. They've got two very good running backs in Tevin Coleman and Devontae Freeman. They can use them interchangeably. You know, Tevin Coleman more of a pass-catching bet, but Freeman can do that as well. So they have a two-headed attack at running back. Um, and then, of course, Jacob Tammy, a reliable tight end. So the offense is set. It's very good, very high-powered. What worries me about this team is the defense. They are a bottom-barrel pass defense. They can be lit up through the pass. They're middle of the pack in the run. Um, but really, to me, uh, the Falcons' defense is what's holding them back. I mean, the Falcons really just win all these games through shootouts and I like Matt Ryan. I don't love Matt Ryan. Uh, now, of course, like I mentioned, he's playing very well, but do I expect him to carry the Falcons every game and put up 30 to 45 points? It's very hard for me to see that happening, so I'm going to have to say no to that. So when the Falcons' offense is you know, not uh, playing well, can the defense sort of keep them in the game? I'm not saying that they have to carry them. This is not the Denver Broncos defense or the Vikings defense here. I'm just saying, will the defense uh, be decent enough to keep them in the game for the offense to get back on the floor and find their rhythm? I have my doubts about that. Next week, they play the Seahawks. If they beat the Seahawks, I'm going to be very impressed and I will put them in borderline contender status, but I just need to see a little bit more from the Falcons. I have been very, very impressed, but I need to see a little bit more, and I need a little bit more from that defense. Let me know what you guys think about the Atlanta Falcons. Are they legit? If so, let me know why. Leave a comment down below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.